Hey guys, welcome back. I'm so glad that you're here. Today we are looking at some of my favorite gold polishes. We're gonna kind of do like a battle of the gold. This was a video requested. Um, somebody asked me, in time for the holidays, um, could you talk about your favorite gold polishes? Now, I have to admit, um, gold polish is not necessarily one of my favorites to wear. However, it definitely is a stunning look on the nails. And so I do end up, I actually do own quite a few gold polishes. So I can give you a pretty educated review on some of the, um, ac you know, it's going to be my opinion of what some of the better gold polishes are out there for you. But I'm going to give you live application swatches so you can see for yourself. And if you are like my sweet viewer who asked for this video and you have been looking out for something great for the holiday season in the area of gold polish, well then this is the video for you. Before I forget, I wanted to tell you about what is on my lips. This is Revlon Color Burst, um, this lip gloss in Rose Pearl. This is one of the products that is being clearanced at Walgreens right now, these um, lip glosses like this. And if you like them, it looks like this. Um, you might want to, as well as the lip butters, pick some of these up. And then I also wanted to mention um, a little quad that I don't think I've ever talked about on my channel before. This is the Physician's Formula. It looks like this, and it is called, what's it called? Canyon Classics. And I think I used this like a year ago or something and put it away and I remember always thinking that I really liked it, but I haven't used it in a long time. And I broke it back out again today and it just, it really has some lovely colors in there for a really nice, just basic neutral. I know a few of you have asked me like, what is your basic neutral eye look? It's basically like a cream like this all over the lid. And these are all mattes by the way, which I enjoy. Cream like this one all over the lid. And then, um, Sorry, of course my other hand isn't swatched a polish color. Um, and then this one up here is what I have in my crease. And then I actually used this to do my eyebrows today. This is just super handy. And of course if you were a little bit more blonde, you could go here. If you were a little bit darker, you could go there. And then when I want to smoke it out a little bit more, I will put this one in the corners there. But I didn't today, I just used the two. Um, top two colors there that I showed you. So I really like this palette. CVS is having a thing right now. Um, they're giving you like $3 off any purchase at Physicians Formula when you scan your card. And I totally recommend this palette to you. It's kind of like in the bottom of my CVS display. So anyway, um, just side note. <laughs> so let's go ahead and get started. Now I feel like there are like a couple different um, what is the word I'm looking for? It's not really formula. There's like a couple different classes of gold. So we have your gold glitter, your gold metallics, just like your gold lustrous polishes, your gold, um, I have a gold holographic in here for you. I'm gonna kind of show you a bit of each. So to get started, I made some notes. Yes, I did. Um, okay. So to get started, I'm going to go with these two China Glaze polishes that look very, very similar. And they are China Glaze I'm Not Lying and China Glaze Angel Wings. Here they are side by side. As you can see, one is a lighter gold and one is kind of like almost a greeny gold. This is Angel Wings, this is I'm Not Lying. I'm gonna show them both to you so you can see which one you prefer best. Um, they both also are packed with micro holographic glitter. So that's why I feel like these are very similar and you probably don't need both unless you are a maniac for gold and I'm not gonna harsh your gig if you're a maniac for gold, if that's your thing. Um, but so yeah, let's take a look. I think that I actually prefer this one just because um, that's just my personal preference, but they are both really nice. And this one is actually Angel Wings has a stronger holographic feel in my opinion. So first I'm gonna show you I'm Not Lying, which is this one. And now I'm going to show you Angel Wings, which is this one.
Okay, so next up, I think we have a category of kind of like foily golds. So what I mean by that is like when you put it on, you don't necessarily, I don't, for me, I don't see it as like a metallic because I think metallics are more smooth finish. Not smooth, but I think you'll get an idea when you look at these when I show you. Um, metallics just kind of have like a sheen like, like you're looking at a piece of metal. I don't know how else to explain it. Foils are like, um, like a kind of a gold foil for me. Like you can actually see the particles in it that is making up the gold look. I hope that makes sense. Like you can see different particles, although these are not texture polishes, they're not raised off the nails. Okay, so I have three that are very similar. Again, I have two from China Glaze and one from Finger Paints. So I'll start off with um, Goldie But Goody, which is a China Glaze polish. This is this here. So here's its little China Glaze buddy. You can definitely see the difference in hue. This gold is actually, I feel like it leans a little bit like going toward a rose gold, but it's not compared to like a true rose gold. It just looks like that compared to this one. So Goldie But Goody, and um, I'm gonna show you that right now. Okay, so I hope that you could see in that swatch how you can kind of see the particles a little bit, like what is making up the polish. The other one that is very similar to it, but just a little bit more like true yellow gold, but in comparison to really yellow gold polishes, it's not that yellow. But in comparison to the two, this one is called Mingle with Kringle. So this one was from the um, Autumn Nights collection. This one is a holiday polish. So anyway, I'm going to show you Mingle with Kringle. And then the other one that is very similar to that look where you can kind of see like the foil flake. It's almost like you can see different colors of gold inside the polish. And it is Finger Paints Masked Beauty. And this one was just released in the collection. Um, what was it called? I'll put it here because it's um, skipping my mind right now. But it has that same kind of look where you can see the different pieces of gold in there. But it doesn't look like a glitter. So anyway, let me go ahead and show you that. So if that's the type of gold you were looking for, those are three really great options. I wanted to include them all so that you could kind of see how similar they were. You probably don't need all three of them. You can probably just choose which one was your favorite of the bunch. Okay, so I have a couple golds here that are much more like brassy golds, like real like molten gold looking. <laughs> I imagine when they melt like a bar of gold, I don't know. Um, Anyway, they're darker golds, okay? So you can see here, this one is getting dark and this one is really dark. So the first one I'm gonna show you is Pure Ice Bite Me. This is actually the only gold polish I have from this brand. Um, I don't have a lighter gold from them, but this is really nice and I've talked about Pure Ice plenty of times. They are a great bargain brand for nail polish and you can find these at Walmart. Let me go ahead and show you.
And then the one from Sephora by OPI, I know that these are kind of being clearanced away because Sephora by OPI is going with the Sephora Formula X formula, but you may still be able to find this at some place like a Marshalls, a TJ Maxx, or a Big Lots. Big Lots has Sephora all the time. This is called Rumba Romance, and as you can see, it's like a really, like a deep honey gold. So yeah, that's what this one looks like. Alright, I only have one polish in this next category, and this is kind of the holographic gold. I have holographic polishes in a few different colors, but I only have one in gold. And this one it actually almost leans like a little bit of a greeny gold to me too. This is Avon Radiant from the Cosmic Collection. And this doesn't have the strongest holographic flash, but if you were looking for a holographic gold, I wanted to go ahead and show you an option. So next I wanted to kind of show you the lighter golds, like the golds that are moving towards like silver, if <laughs> that makes any sense. So like really, really light golds. Okay, so I have three options for you. First up, I have OPI Sand on Your Own Feet. It looks like this. I showed this to you in my recent OPI collection video and this just has a nice formula. It's just a pretty basic light gold. So let me show you. And the next one I'm going to show you is from Color Club and it's called Winter Affair. And it's a little bit darker than the OPI, but it's pretty much in the same boat there. And um, I'm trying to remember if this one was a smelly one. Yeah, this one is like a scented one. It actually smells like a little bit like coffee or something. So anyway, random fact about Winter Affair. Let me show you what it looks like. And then thirdly, I'm going to show you a very silvered gold, but this one is actually the only textured polish I'm going to show you, and it's again from Color Club, and it's called Dirty Money. This is from their um, Seven Deadly Sins collection of all textured polishes, and this one has um, chunks of silver glitter in it uh, mixed in with the gold, so that's probably why it looks more silver. But so yeah, here's this one. Alright, so we're getting to the end guys, so I have two more categories left. So next up I'm just going to show you kind of like basic metallic golds. So um, these three you can all find at the drugstore. This is Revlon 24K. And this is just like, it's very metallic looking in that it just, it doesn't look like all different pieces on the nail. It just looks like one metallic surface.
Next up I have Maybelline a Color Show Metallics in Bold Gold. Same kind of look. So you pretty much are getting the same thing with these two polishes. It just depends on which one you want to go with. And then this next one is Sally Hansen Golden Eye. And this one um, doesn't look quite as flat, like metallic on the nail as the last two I showed you, but I felt like it fit better into this category than any of the other ones. So I just wanted to show you this one because if you are on a budget, these um, this, bu this option specifically is probably um, right there, the best one for you for, it's the most budget friendly is what I'm trying to say, along with the, um, pure ice option, but that one was a dark gold. So here's the most budget friendly light gold or medium gold. Alright, so the last category that we have today is glitter. Now, I know that there's a bunch of different glitter where it's just micro glitter or hex glitter that is all gold. I actually chose not to feature that today because I don't particularly care for the appearance. And the ones that I had, I just, I didn't feel like I could really recommend them to you. But, um, I did choose to show you some shards of foil glitter. So these two are very similar. You can find them both at the drugstore. Um, this one here from L'Oreal is from their recent holiday collection, so you will need to look for the display for that. And then this one from Maybelline is from the, I think it's the Jewels. It says on the bottle, it's the Jewels. So these are both actually not in the permanent line. So if you can find them and you really want a gold foil shard glitter in a clear base, these are both almost identical. This one is slightly more like yellow, yellow toned, and this is more just basic gold. But as you can see, they're very similar. And I actually prefer the L'Oreal one just because I like the shape of the foil a little bit better. I feel like in this one that they um, crunched it up a little bit more. That's just my personal preference. If you can only find one and you really need a polish like this, they're very similar. So first I'm going to show you L'Oreal, which is called 24 Karat. And the next one I'm going to show you is the one from Maybelline and it's called Gilded in Gold. So that rounds up our gold polish smackdown. What did you think? You know, this wasn't really a smackdown. It wasn't really like, this is the best polish out there. This is the one you should get. I just kind of wanted to give you an overview of some really great gold polishes out there in case you felt like you were missing one in your life and you just needed a gold polish ASAP. I will tell you that I purposely did not show you a gold from Simple Colors because I didn't like their gold. Surprise, surprise, compared to some of these other ones. Also the one from Wet n Wild, um, I think it's called like Deadly Dose. I don't care for that one so I wouldn't bother with that. There are a few more golds from Finger Paints that really just weren't that good. I showed you the best one that I had. So yeah, that's a pretty good roundup from my side. If you um, want to leave in the comments some of the other ones that you really like so that you can help my viewers that are searching for this video, that would be greatly appreciated. I hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for hanging out with me for a little bit. And if you're not subscribed, go ahead and hit that button. We do all things polish here and sometimes some makeup. I have a makeup haul coming up pretty soon 
and it's mostly lipstick because <laughs> that's what I'm about sometimes besides the nail polish. So anyway, um, like I said, I hope you're having a great day and I'll see you back next time. Bye!